Okay, all right. So hello, dears. Ayan. So um, <laughs> good day again. So um, we are here uh yet again for another pre-recorded lecture, and uh for today, what we're going to discuss is the biochemical testing for your gram-negative cocci. So this is still part of your uh biochemical testing part one. All right. So I think second part ni siya, no. So of course, pag comment sa gram-positive cocci, uh direct po tayo gram-neg cocci na um uh na discussion on biochemical testing. So for now again loom ragya punta sa no loom loom lang sa. <laughs> All right so again magpa-miss ra ko ninyo wala pa say face no para put beautiful voice siya sa anak ko karon again. So same same mo hemophilus gya pun na lecture uh, because same day na ko ni siya gi <laughs> gi record and you know yeah nag loom lang sa ta kay gi pa work from home me eh, because again of the situation here sa A, uh, sa AK sa Duma na my gosh mga pabuyag na mga APOR shocks. Okay, anyway, again, just uh, pray for us and keep safe from Modera. Okay, again. So for t- for today, what we're going to discuss, discuss again is the biochemical testing for gram-negative cocci. So again, recall, unsa sa ito mga genus na gram-neg cocci, cocci, wag na mag-isip, dapat memorize na ng mga gram-staining rules ron. Again, di ba? All cocci are gram-positive except for kinsa itong mga Exception silang NVM, Neisseria, Veilonella, and Moraxella. All right. So for uh, for, for this day or for this lecture, particular lecture, muna tong i-focus ka ron. They're biochemical tests para ma-identify nato sila. Okay? All right. So again, this is biochemical testing for your gram-negative cocci. All right. So start first, of course, with some introduction. So what we're focusing um, in this lecture is um, the aerobic gram-neg cocci. So when we say aerobic gram-neg cocci, diba we have three na genus. You have NVM. So the aerobic gram-neg cocci there are your Neisseria and Moraxella. So um, we are not including the biochemical tests ni Veilonella here because Veilonella is an anaerobic um, organism, meaning dili siya kailangan oxygen. And you usually, ang anaerobes, katong mga, again, dili kailangan oxygen na uh, uh, organisms, they are discussed as one. Okay? So, we heal as one. Charot. We discuss as one. Okay? So, they are discussed as one. Okay? Dili sila parehas ani na gram positive ba sila? Ina na gibahin by uh, gram scene reaction and morphology. Your anaerobes are discussed usually as one. Okay, regardless of the morphology and the gram stain reaction, because again they are all similar in the in the in the in the sense that they are all anaerobes. They do not require oxygen for growth. So again, for this particular lecture, what we're going to focus more um, is on or are on the biochemical tests to identify your aerobic gram necoxi. So you have Neisseria and Moraxella. All right. So we'll start first with Neisseria, of course. Uh, some general characteristics. Number one is, of course, again, aerobic, requires oxygen. Non-motil, just go po, as in, wag nang mag Again, again, all cocci are non-motil. So, of course, uh, Neisseria is no exception. Neisseria is definitely non-motil, of course. Na, oh my gosh, dapat din na masayop, guys, ha? <laughs> all right. And non-spore forming. All right. And first one, uh, next one, they are diplococci. Remember, recalls, ato ang pag-describe sa mga morphology. When you say diplo, they are in pairs, all right? So, press any sa picture. Yeah, ina na sila in pairs, okay? All right. So mura sila uh, macarons, macarons, macaroons. Charot. <laughs> okay, so again, most of the species of Neisseria are diplococci, but there are some exceptions na mga rod shape. So you have N elongata by the name itself, elongated, and weavery and uh and Neisseria basiliformis by the name itself. So they are, are rod shaped, okay? But again, most of the species of Neisseria are cocci. Therefore, uh uh, diplococci. So therefore, they are considered to be uh, cocci. Uh, they're under cocci. All right? Okay. And they're again oxidase catalase positives, uh, similar with hemophilus. Again, uh, the uh, principle of oxidase test, ato na na siya i-discuss again uh, sa biochemical testing part 2 sa mga enterics. Okay. But again, there are still some exceptions, <clears throat> except ni N. elongata subspecies nitroreducens and N. basiliformis, which are both catalase negative. Okay. So gamay na exceptions. Um, capnophilic, again, when you say capnophilic, kung sa botana, requires increased amounts of carbon dioxide. All right? So still the same with hemophilus, fastidious puning ni Syria, they need uh, increased amounts of CO2, right? Okay. 
And the primary pathogens uh, na makakos sa humans uh, of diseases is of course your two uh, uh, primary pathogens of Neisseria species of Neisseria gonorrhea and Neisseria meningitidis. Okay, all right. So basically ito nang i-learn ilang mga biochem karon. And for Moraxella catarhalis, of course, um, it's considered to be an opportunistic pathogen. So when you say opportunistic, so kana mga ahas, charot, mga third party, charot lang. <laughs> so opportunistic, opportunists, um, they only cause disease if um like there are example kanang dilikod sila tinuod na pathogen like in normal uh, circumstances there are just like normal flora this lang mga cause of disease but in certain cases such as ma transfer sila to another habitat uh, into another environment or ma immunocompromise ang patient then dito na sila uh, mo cause infection so muna siya opportunistic pathogen but according to Ma'am Teddy um this is Moraxella catarhalis that is considered to be a true pathogen. So, yeah. So, there are still, there are bacteria or mga organisms na inana. Like, pwede silang opportunist, but then over time, pwede na silang mahimong true pathogen because they are continuously adapting, inana, continuously mutating, inana. All right. So, that's no um shock. It's no shock. Okay. It's more, in a way, expected na po, um, or it's common to happen. All right. So, um. And when when I study about Moraxella catarhalis uh, until now or katong sa boards or katong student pa ko, I always always uh, relate to uh, ang ako jung i kanang i correlate niya dayon is otitis media. Okay? When you say otitis media, it's the middle ear, middle ear infection. Okay? But I'm not saying that it's the only cause, right? As you can see third most common ra siya. But when you say otitis media man good when you say otitis media, ang first organism usually na muslud sa akong mind is Moraxella catarhalis. But again, there are other organisms that can cause otitis media. Daghan. Alright? And I think ang first most common cause good is Haemophilus influenzae, if I'm not mistaken. Alright? Okay. And common po in sinusitis in children. Third most common. Ayan, according to Mayhon. And we are discussing Moraxella um, catarhalis included sa Neisseria na, na species because uh, na discussion because again, it has a similar cellular morphology with uh, Neisseria. Alright? So, that's why it's fitting now we discuss them together. Okay? Alright. So, that's for uh, the first uh, general characteristics. And here's an example of Neisseria gonorrhea. As you can see, guys, ang N. gonorrhea, uh, Neisseria gonorrhea, it is described sa gram stain as gram negative intracellular. So as you can see, intracellular, you mean it's inside the cells. So inside WBC. So intracellular diplococci. Now, in the real setting, laboratory setting, as I have experienced, um, there are doctors usually, um, when they suspect patients um, na naay gonorrhea, they usually just uh, rely on gram staining. Okay? So example, if ang gram stain gani, mo gawas na gani, Gram stain, example, by urethral discharge or vaginal discharge or penile discharge, example. If mugawas na ganina siya na gram stain kay gram negative intracellular diplococci seen, then press the buzzer na ng mga doctors, guys. Usually, dili na sila, dili na sila mo wait to culture. Um, I think most of the doctors or some doctors that would rely na on gram, uh, the gram stain result. If makakita na sila gram neg intracellular diplococci, then they would uh, confirm the diagnosis na daw for gonorrhea sa patient. And then would begin treatment na for uh, gonorrhea. So, muna siya, guys. <laughs> so, na mga ubang inana, alright? So, but again, if you're the doctor na ganahan ka mas sure ka, inana, then you could always, always uh, opt na mo wait sa culture, alright? But, um, yeah, there are still some doctors na mo rely na daw sa gram stain. But again, if gram stain result, in the future, mangani, or mga case studies, makita ninyo gram neg, intracellular, diplococci. Nako, press the buzzer, wag na mo isip. That's Neisseria gonorrhea. Okay? Alright, ayan. So again, so that's uh, the general introduction pa nato sa itong mga kagaw natong i-discuss ilang biochemical tests. Alright? Okay, so for the next slide, uh, we'll, we'll now look into the parang flowchart on how to um, identify the Neisseria C family. So as you can see, ang Kingella and Echinella, na itong na-mention sa Haemophilus, it's actually under the Neisseria family, but we'll not discuss it here again as mentioned. Uh, we'll focus more on the Neisseria. Okay? Alright. And what are the biochemical tests that we can perform to identify the species? So we have different tests. So first is of course the catalase test. Uh, we have discussed the principle, the positive result of catalase test back in gram-positive cocci, diba? And for Neisseria species, uh, they, are, they are catalase positive. And also this test also, again, as mentioned, we'll discuss We'll discuss this further or in depth na good sa biochemical testing part two. Uh, Neisseria are also oxidase test uh, or oxidase positive, right? 
and mga superoxol, carbohydrate utilization, butyrate, and DNAs, uh, these tests are usually uh, mojunin mga special or specific ani na topic. Again, ang nitrate reduction still will encounter this in the biochemical testing part 2 and we'll um, discuss this uh, in depth dito. Okay? All right. Ayan. So, of course, so we'll start with the number three, the superoxal test. Now, your superoxal test is actually the same principle with the catalase test. It detects the presence of the enzyme catalase, all right? But the difference lang is the reagent natong ginagamit. So, when you say super, so intense na yun, superoxal, what we use this time is the reagent 30% hydrogen peroxide. So, uh, there are sources na mo yung 20 to 30, but I think ang pinaka-common or most common na ginagamit na reagent is uh, 30%, okay? So, 30% H2O2. And still, uh, same principle, H2O2 in the of catalase is broken down to water and oxygen. Okay. Now, the positive result for this particular test now is um, vigorous bubbling. So, intense na pagkabula-bula. Alright. Magsigig bula-bula. <laughs> Uy. Alright. Okay. So, again. Intense na bubbling or vigorous bubbling. Alright. So, here's an example. Again, the positive is vigorous bubbling and it's usually characteristic of this gonorrhea and negative is smooth suspension. So here's an example of a picture. As you can see, superoxal, grabe ka positive, all right? Or grabe ka bubbling. As you can see, mura na siya, mura na siya ka na ganing, um, ka ng, uh, plastic balloon na yung mo nang gi, pag haman o erupt kayo mo siyang gi, gi mix, ay ka nang gi, gi, ka nang, Gilukot or something like that. So, inana siya. <laughs> but sa intense na bubbling, as you can see, alright, or vigorous bubbling, that is positive for superoxal test. And characteristic dyan na siya N-gonery. And sa table sa mihon later na ako ipakita po, um, N-gonery ra, ang positive sa superoxal um, compared sa the rest of the Neisseria species. So, therefore, if na kay, like example, organism or gram coxi and you want to test or presumptive ID lang, presumptive ID of the organism if Neisseria gonery ba siya, then you could always test it with superoxal. Okay, 30% hydrogen peroxide. And if positive shad, then, then that is uh, Neisseria gonorrhea. Alright, so again, same principle with catalase. And difference lang is, of course, ang reagent. 30% H2O2 ang imuhang superoxol. And pila ang sa catalase, only 3%. Okay, so just remember na super. So super siya, pabibo, intense. So therefore, higher ang concentration sa reagent. Alright, that's four. Superoxol test. Positive result, vigorous bubbling, characteristic of Neisseria gonorrhea. Alright. Next, all right. The next test is your carbohydrate utilization test. Now, according to Mahon, this is now considered to be the traditional method of um, identifying Neisseria species. Um, by the name itself, carbohydrate utilization, it's detecting the organism's ability, okay, to use a particular carbohydrate. And because of this test, Mangod, we can already uh, really point out, no, uh, specific species of Neisseria and even Moraxella caterhalis. All right. So I'll uh, will. We'll know about that later. So next slide, okay? So ang kosher medium use nato is of course cysteine triptychase agar with one percent of the particular carbohydrate. So it could be either any single sugar, any carbohydrate, depending glucose, sucrose, lactose, maltose, mannitol, etc. Depending on the uh, need or depending on yeah, depending on the uh, sugar that you want to test for the organism, okay? And we use again pH indicator, phenol red. And principle, same sa sa atong oxidation fermentation, di ba? Na in the presence of carbohydrate, in the presence of a carbohydrate, and if an organism uses it, ang resulting results or ang resulting products are usually acids or na gas. And because na ay pH indica indicator, pag, <clears throat> pag release sa mga acids, it now changes the pH indicator, in this case, phenol red from red, to yellow. And that indicates the positive result. Okay? So here's an example. Ang left ni mo yung positive, of course, positive siya for utilizing this particular carbohydrate. And negative, uh, right. Color is unchanged. So, ayan. So we'll now go to the results of some select species. Because again, as I mentioned ganina, we can already point out or narrowed down sa mga species of Neisseria and even Moraxella caterhalis just by this test. Why? Example, Neisseria gonorrhea, ayan. So, naka-color pink ang letter G. Bakit? Because Neisseria gonorrhea only ferments glucose. So, letter G po na sugar, iyahang, gina-ferment. O, diba? Easy ra? Neisseria gonorrhea, G, yun sa po na uh, uh, sugar niyang gina-ferment or ginagamit, only glucose. Letter G ra po. Diba? Easy ra? Next, Neisseria meningitidis, ayan, M and G, ang color pink. So, what does that mean? It ferments both maltose, letter M, and glucose. Ayan. So, easy, easy to remember. Glucose and maltose, G and M, menengitidis. Alright. 
another species na Isiria lactamica na ko wag na maisip na sa pangalan na lactamica all right so it ferments glucose maltose and bago lactose so 3 in 1 na siya guys all right so ang additional is of course lactose na sa pangalan na lactamica all right and last one atong friend Moraxella caterhalis a uh, very special it's a non-utilizer or non-fermenter or a saccharolytic. So, di siya mo gamit o any carbohydrate or sugar. So, there, muna siya akong pasabot na by this test pa lang daan, we can already point out or narrow down the species of Neisseria and even Moraxella. Because again, karakteristik na kaayo ilang mga sugars na gina-ferment. Diba? For gonorrhea, Neisseria gonorrhea, again, letter G, glucose only. For meningitis, M and G, maltose and glucose. Lactamica, so of course, glucose, maltose, and lactose. Sa name na nga lang, lactamica, lactose. And of course, si Moraxella caterhalis, di siya mo gamit og any sugar. Ano siya? Strong, independent woman, I don't need any of your sugar. I don't need a sugar daddy. Charot. Kinsa may di ka sugar daddy, no? Charot. <laughs> anyway. Alright, so again. Moraxella caterhalis, asacarolytic, non-utilizer of the carbo any carbohydrate or non-fermenter. Okay? Alright, so again, that's for the carbohydrate utilization test. As mentioned by Mihon, it's considered to be um, uh, the traditional method of again, identifying Neisseria species. Again, because of this, uh, because of these results, alright? Ayan. Okay, now we go to the next uh, test. Okay, and that is your butyrate disc test. Okay, so what does this test, what is this test all about? So the purpose is again, a rapid uh, test to detect the presence of the enzyme butyrate esterase. Okay. And the principle, um, a substrate found in the disc, your bromochlor indolyl butyrate, in the presence of butyrate esterase, it becomes indoxyl. And indoxyl, um, in the presence of oxygen in room air, it becomes indigo, which is a blue to blue-violet color. So again, a positive development of a blue color within five minutes. So incubation of five minutes. And negative is no color change. So here's an example. Ayan. So butyrate. Positive nimo is again blue uh, color within a five-minute incubation period. And negative, no color change. So why do we test this? Because again, this is a rapid um, ID or presumptive ID put of Moraxella caterhalis because Moraxella caterhalis is positive for this while the rest of your Neisseria species are negative. Okay? So si Moraxella ay positive aning butyrate disc test. Okay. All right, and the last test, your DNA test. Okay, by the name itself, DNA, it detects the presence of the enzyme deoxyribonuclease. All right, so therefore, it's an enzyme that attacks or that hydrolyzes or processes or metabolizes DNA. Okay, well, wala na, wag, na, wag na may step na sa pangalan na DNA test. All right, so principle, we use a culture medium, um, and the medium is color pale green, or it color it, the color niya is pale green because. Um, the medium is incorporated with a methyl green DNA complex, okay? So, meaning combined ang DNA and methyl green together into a complex, okay? And that uh, gives the pale green color sa medium. Now, in the presence of DNAs, what happens is, ang, in the presence of DNAs, iyahang itangtango ng DNA, right? So, mabulag ang DNA and methyl green together. So, therefore, they become now individual um, components. So, what happens is, ang methyl green, um, ma um, standing alone, and yeah, single char, um, plus the DNA in a bilin, it becomes highly polymerized. Then, oh, when they now uh, combines or when they now, uh, yeah, combines as byproducts of the metabolism of DNAs, um, what happens is na I mu forms like colorless zone around the colony or around the organism. All right, so that's the positive result. So here's an example. Ayan. So letter A and B, of course, uh, that's positive. Na I colorless. Uh, medium around the organism because again of the hydrolysis or the metabolism of DNA sa DNA methyl green complex. Yang gibula ang DNA and methyl green, therefore releasing methyl green, um, you know, individually sa medium and DNA pod. Therefore, pag um, combine nila or like pag as individual products, what happens is na ay colorless zone na mahitabo around the colony. Okay, and that's considered to be positive. Okay, and of course, letter C is negative. The medium remains green. So, walay colorless. Or uh, walay mga parang, yeah, walay uh, clearing na nahitabo around the organism. Okay, alright. So, that's for the DNA test. And para kakin sa Gyaponi, still the same. It's for Moraxella caterhalis. Moraxella caterhalis releases DNA's enzyme, but um, 
outside of this lecture, like outside of this topic, there are a lot of other organisms that have uh, DNA's enzyme. You have very good example of Staphylococcus aureus. You have Serratia marcescens also has DNA's. Also Proteus na po na DNA. So the gang um, other organisms that has DNA's. But this for this particular topic. Um, this is reserved Jude, for the identification of Moraxella caterhalis in comparison to uh, the other Nasiria species. Because again, Moraxella caterhalis is positive for the DNA test, while your other Nasiria species are negative. All right. Okay. So we're done now with all the tests. So same with your Haemophilus. Okay. Balik na po tag summary of results. Hey, all right. Black pink in your air. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> Char. Okay. All right. So we'll now uh, go to the different tests mentioned again. Ganina. So we'll start first again with your super oxol by the name itself. Uh, unsa ganina reagent ang gamiton? Of course, higher concentration of hydrogen peroxide. So 30%. And kinsa ganila positive, Ana? Si Neisseria gonorrhea. Ayan, di ba? So, very characteristic. Next, for carbohydrate utilization, on sa na media itong ginagamit, CTA, cysteine tryptokase agar, with, again, 1% of, example, glucose, maltose, or lactose. And on sa ito ang indicator, you have phenol red. Alright? Again, and on sa itong palatandaan, Ani, Neisseria gonorrhea, letter G. So, on sa ito ang ginagamit na sugar, only glucose, letter G, only glucose touches my skin. Charot. All right. And then for men and GTDs, M and G, maltose and glucose. And lactamica, glucose, maltose, and of course, lactamica, lactose. And si Moraxella, atong bestie. Again, strong independent woman. Di siya kailangan sugar daddy. So, dili siya. Mugamit og any sugar. So, it's a non-utilizer of, of a carbohydrate or a saccharolytic. Okay. And then for again, DNAs and butyrate disc. Uh, Kadi rin na po magpabibo si Moraxella. Siya ray, positive, okay? And the other Nasira species are negative. And also, same sa nitrate reduction. Si Moraxella na po ay positive, okay? As you can see, siya ray, positive. So, sa mga, kani mga last three tests, usually very specific siya or very special na siya for Moraxella. So, dira na siya gapabibo, alright? So, munang dili kay ko mahadlock magtonogram na coxine na biochem kay gagmay ragyud ang mga tests na itong i-perform. And then, characteristics, uh, Sa'yo na po siya i-remember. Kaya yung mga mnemonics, na yung mga uh, pwede ni mong correlate sa words, na 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 na. Okay? So, I do hope na find out po ninyo na in ana <laughs> ang pagtuo ani na topic. Because when we go to enterobacteriazi and other um, biochemical testing, medyo too much na yung TMI. So, <laughs> munang <laughs> prepare, prepare lang. Alright. So, again, that's for the summary of results. And again, as mentioned, katong ikan sa mayhon na table, um, as you can see, again, uh, DNA is right, uh, Moraxella, uh, kanyang mga special tributary in hydrolysis, still Moraxella. Uh, nitrite or nitrate, you have Moraxella pa rin. And then again, for sugars, di ba, negative good siya. Wala, di siya kailangan sugar daddy. Wow, sana all. Okay, alright. And of course, N, gonorrhea, G, glucose, meningitis, M, N, G, glucose, maltose, lactamica, glucose, maltose, and lactose. Alright. And si N, C, ka, di ay guys, uh, sucrose siya, letter S, sucrose. Okay. Um, very, rem uh, I think, nigawas siya sa boards before na mo. Gidescribe yung colonies. Basta ang, ang colonies daw ni NC ka, guys, is clay-like. Clay-like colonies na murag dry. Okay, uga. Uga na clay-like colonies, like me. Charot. Uga, clay-like colonies. Uh, again, that's NC ka. NC ka ba itong nigawas? Yeah, ni Syria C ka. Yeah, yeah. Uh, nigawas siya sa amo ang last year. Uh, no, before na before na batch na mo na boards. And asa ko daw sa board of examiners sa Bailey and Scott. So, di ba? <laughs> Alright, ayan. So, again, this is a summary of the table from Mayhon. Okay? And katong table po na tong gi-present ganina. Alright. And that's the end of our uh, discussion for this uh, biochemical testing of gram negoxide. Di ba? Very short lang. Same sa hemophilus. Pero may mas dagan kung nachika sa hemophilus. <laughs> anyway. Alright, so again... Uh, di ba, medyo easy lang siya to remember. Please do not forget sa itong mga mnemonics in a way on how to remember the mga results and on sa mga characteristic na results po sa each species. Again, um, letter G lang, ni Sir Gonery, glucose siya ginaferment, meningitis, MNG, maltose and glucose, lactamica, lactose, okay, glucose and maltose, and si Sika na IS, so sucrose yung hanggi ferment. So, easy lang to remember. And si Moraxella, of course, di siya kailangan sugar daddy, asakarolitic. <laughs> okay, alright, ayan. And, yeah, I think mo rito siya. And again, si Moraxella, very characteristic or very special ng mga tests. Kung asa siya positive, DNAs, 
butyrate disc tributyrin hydrolysis diba so compared sa uban na nimong nasiria negative na ubang nasiria si murak sa laang positive okay all right so again guys uh, mura to siya for this particular topic quite short ra pud easy ra pud tunan and i do hope na enjoy ra mo and then apon mo na learn from this topic okay so again i'll see you on your our next pre-recorded lecture guys have a great day keep safe and always always practice proper hand hygiene okay